Two years ago, my youngest brother, Chad, stepped through the veil. His transition to the other side left a hole in the heart of my sister-in-law, Stephanie, their two small children, Braden and Bella, as well as the rest of the family. We found comfort in the words of Elder Neil L. Anderson in general conference the week before Chad died. In the crucible of earthly trials, patiently move forward, and the Savior's healing power will bring you light, understanding, peace, and hope. We have faith in Jesus Christ. We know we will join Chad again, but losing his physical presence hurts. Many have lost loved ones. It's hard to be patient and wait for the time we will rejoin them. The year after he died, we felt like a dark cloud overshadowed us. We sought refuge in studying our scriptures, praying with more fervency and attending the temple more frequently. The lines from this hymn capture our feelings at the time. The day dawn is breaking, the world is awaking, the clouds of night's darkness are fleeing away. Our family determined that 2020 would be a, a refreshing year. We were studying our Come, Follow Me lesson in the New Testament book of James in late November 2019 when a theme revealed itself to us. James chapter 1, verse 2 reads, My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into many afflictions. In our desire to open a new year, a new decade with joy, we decided that in 2020 we would count it all joy. We felt so strongly about it that last Christmas we gifted our siblings t-shirts that said in bold letters, count it all joy. The year 2020 would surely be a year of joy and rejoicing. Well, here we are. 2020 instead brought the global COVID-19 pandemic, civil unrest, more natural disasters and economic challenges. Our Heavenly Father may be allowing us time to reflect and consider our understanding of patience and our conscious decision to choose joy. The book of James has since taken on new meaning for us. James chapter 1, verses 3 and 4 continue, Knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience, but let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. In our efforts to find joy in the midst of our trials, we had forgotten that having patience is the key to letting those trials work for our good. King Benjamin taught to put off the natural man and becometh a saint through the atonement of Christ the Lord and becometh as a child, submissive, meek, humble, patient, full of love and willing to submit to all things. Chapter six of Preach My Gospel teaches key attributes of Christ that we can emulate. Patience is the capacity to endure delay, trouble, opposition, or suffering without becoming angry, frustrated, or anxious. It is the ability to do God's will and accept His timing. When you are patient, you hold up under pressure and are able to face adversity calmly and hopefully. Patience perfect work may also be illustrated in the life of one of Christ's early disciples, Simon the Canaanite. The Zealots were a group of Jewish nationalists who strongly opposed Roman rule. The Zealot movement advocated violence against their Romans, the Jewish collaborators, and the Sadducees by raiding for provisions and pursuing other activities to aid their cause. Simon the Canaanite was a Zealot. Imagine Simon trying to coax the Savior into taking up arms, lead a militant group, or create chaos in Jerusalem. Jesus taught, Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Simon may have embraced and advocated his philosophy with zeal and passion, but the scriptures suggest that through the influence and example of the Savior, his focus changed. His discipleship of Christ became the central focus of his life's efforts. As we make and keep covenants with God, the Savior can help us to be born again, yea, born of God, changed from a carnal and fallen state to a state of righteousness, being redeemed of God, becoming his sons and daughters. 
of all the zealous social, religious, and political endeavors of our day, let disciple of Jesus Christ be our most pronounced and affirming affiliation. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Let us also not forget, even after faithful disciples had done the will of God, they had need of patience. Just as the trying of our faith works patience within us, when we exercise patience, our faith increases. As our faith increases, so does our joy. This past March, our second daughter, Emma, like many missionaries in the church, went into mandatory isolation. Many missionaries came home. Many missionaries awaited reassignment. Many did not receive their temple blessings before departing to a field of labor. Thank you, elders and sisters. We love you. Emma and her companion in the Netherlands were stretched in those first several weeks, stretched to tears in many instances, with only brief opportunities for in-person interaction and limited outdoor exposure. Emma's reliance on God increased. We prayed with her online and asked how we could help. She asked us to connect with her friends she was teaching online. Our family began to connect online one by one with Emma's friends in the Netherlands. We invited them to join our weekly online extended family Come Follow Me study. Floor, Laura, Renska, Freik, Benjamin, Stahl, and Mohammed all have become our friends. Some of our friends from the Netherlands have entered in at the straight gate. Others are being shown the straightness of the path and the narrowness of the gate by which they should enter. They are our brothers and sisters in Christ. Each week we count it all joy as we work together in our progress on the covenant path. We let patience have her perfect work in our inability to meet in person as ward families for a season, but we count as joy our family's faith increasing through new technology connections and come follow me study of the Book of Mormon. President Nelson promised your consistent efforts in this endeavor even during those moments when you feel that you are not being particularly successful, will change your life, that of your family and the world. Where we make sacred covenants with God, the temple is temporarily closed. Where we keep covenants with God, the home is open. We have an opportunity at home to study and ponder on the exceptional beauty of temple covenants. Even in the absence of entry into that sacred physical space, our heart shall greatly rejoice in consequence of the blessings which shall be poured out. Many have lost jobs. Others have lost opportunities. We joy, however, alongside President Nelson, who recently stated, voluntary fast offerings from our members have actually increased, as well as voluntary contributions to our humanitarian funds. Together, we will overcome this difficult time. The Lord will bless you as you continue to bless others. Be of good cheer is the commandment from the Lord, not be of good fear. Sometimes we get impatient when we think we are, quote, doing everything right, and we still don't receive the blessings we desire. Enoch walked with God for 365 years before he and his people were translated. 365 years of striving to do everything right, and then it happened. My brother Chad's passing came just a few months after our release from presiding over the Utah Ogden mission. It was miraculous that while we were living in Southern California, of all the 417 missions we could have been assigned to in the year 2015, we were assigned to Northern Utah. The mission home was a 30 minute drive to Chad's home. Chad's cancer was diagnosed after we received our mission assignment. Even in the most trying circumstance, we knew that our Heavenly Father was mindful of us and helping us find joy. Eyewitness of the redeeming, sanctifying, humbling, and joyous power of the Savior, Jesus Christ. I witness that when we pray to our Heavenly Father in the name of Jesus, He will answer us. I witness that as we hear, hearken, and heed the voice of the Lord and His living prophet, President Russell M. Nelson, we can let patience have her perfect work and count it all joy. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen.